I was born the day of Nag Panchami. It's a festival. My father's eldest brother named me after it. I'm called Panchu Bhai. My father had gone shopping and had no knowledge of this. He didn't like it and said, No, that name doesn't seem to be a good name. They named me Nageshwar. That's how I got two names. Everybody in my neighborhood started calling me Panchu Maharaj, and my name on paper became Nageshwar Prasad Mishra. We are Brahmins. We belong to the Kathak caste. The Kathaks believe in the religious observance of Satya Narayana. We are Mishra Pandits. Our religion is Hindu. We study Sanskrit and speak Sanskrit as well. I go to all the temples. I go to Hanuman Temple, Vishwanath Temple, Durga Temple, and on Navaratri, we go for darshan of nine gods and goddesses. They are Dharmaputri, Brahmacharini, Tritaghanta, Rasamulani, Katyani, Goddess Kali, Annapurna, and Shuddha Mata. We take part in the religious observance of Navaratri for nine days and nights. Nowadays, my guru is Bharav Ustad. I started playing tabla when I was very young. And then Anokhilal became my guru. He made me practice eight hours every day. He taught me a lot, gave me food to eat, made me memorize a lot of bowls and tans. My guru had hundreds of students. All he did was practice and eat. He was a big eater. He had nothing else to do. We cooked for him and took care of him. He was an excellent teacher. He died at the age of 90. My brother's younger son, Rameshwar, is a vocalist and plays the soul mundar. My other brother's son, Chandrasekhar, plays tabla, but is primarily a Kathak dancer. During Navaratri and many other times during the year, we practice the entire night until dawn. We practice best if we begin the evening by paying respect to our teachers and by taking prasad in the form of sweetmeats that have been placed before the teacher's image. thing is practice. If one wants to earn a reputation in his own city, then six to eight hours of practice each day should be enough. But if one wants to be famous all over the world, then he must practice for twelve hours.
Rampura. Later, my father moved to Kabir Chaura. My family lived in Rampura for two or three generations. All the houses were lost when my grandfather died. My father left Rampura and came to live with my sister here at Kabir Chaura. At that time, I had not yet been born. Nowadays, Many people live here in my home. My brother's family lives here. He has three daughters. My sister's family lives here too. She has four sons and a daughter. The sons are married, so their wives live here as well. About 21 family members live in my home. They consume a large bag of rice and a bag of wheat in a fortnight. My family's occupation has been this. My family has had seven generations so far. All have done music. My grandfather played sarangi. His brother played tabla. Father played sarangi and his brother played tabla. The same thing happened with my brother and me. I learned tabla and he learned sarangi. There was always a team of tabla and sarangi players in the family. This tradition was always maintained. My own son, Shushankar, has learned tabla. My brother's eldest son, Amarnath, learned sitar. And his younger son, Rameshwar, learned vocal music. My brother's youngest son learned some tabla, but primarily Kathak dance.
For example, practiced for only eight hours each day because I was fond of other activities too. I was interested in physical exercise and in going around. Even when one is not on correct lines, he can achieve mastery by practice. God to help if one keeps playing or singing for hours. One's efforts are bound to be fruitful someday. My son, for example, practices the tabla for 12 to 14 hours every day. He does it even when he's sick, stays up for practice. God will give him reward. If one wants to have the reputation of a good artist, he must practice for at least 12 hours every day. It's not that easy, though. <laughs>
six or seven year old boys in my family learn as much as older graduate students do in formal college. The reason is that they have been exposed to it since their childhood. When we practice at home, they join us. This is how they get used to it. Their ear and mind get entrenched. All we do is to offer them a hand in practice, and they learn it. Our children do not get a formal education in music. They learn it on their own. This learning instinct exists in the blood of the family. We don't have to exert ourselves in order to teach our children. We do it casually while we are brushing our teeth or eating a meal. As far as the practice is concerned, it's given importance in our family. One must practice for three or four hours each day. I want my youngest son, Pahru, to learn tabla. He will be able to play tabla well because of the family background. Later, he will decide what else he wants to learn. These days, everyone needs education. He will have to study too. That is given primary importance in the modern world. Music is not as important as formal education today. Besides, music or tabla can be learned on one's own. My father was not educated, but earned a name for himself in the world. He earned a lot of money, about two or three lakhs of rupees. But he couldn't do his own signature. He had to ask someone else to do it for him. He educated us by hiring tutors. This used to be the way of education in a Kathak or Brahmin family. But now, formal education calls for university degrees and diplomas. I did educate my son, Shashankar. I want to educate Bahadur. I would like him to study up to a master's or a bachelor of arts. He may not have time to achieve mastery over anything but will be considered more qualified by attaining these degrees.
खिचड़ी है हाँ भी दिल्ली भी लखनऊ भी बनारस भी सब थोड़ा 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 